gently, I will design your home. There will be no garage. Wright did, however, design a boathouse, which stands separately from the home on the banks of the Wapsipinicon River. Back in Des Moines, work continued on the Drake University campus. The elder Saarinen died in 1950, but his son Arrow continued managing the firm. Arrow was an admired architect in his own right. He designed the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, the Dulles International Airport Terminal, and other highly acclaimed buildings. For Drake, he continued developing the designs for the northwestern corner of campus. His designs for classrooms, residence halls, and the campus dining hall continued expressing the idea of connection. While there were no more skywalks, there were bridges, ramps, and stairways that were intended to make it easier for students to physically get from one building to another. But the designs most admired by the AIA are Medbury Hall and its attached Scott Chapel. While Medbury has a remarkable design with offices, a comfortable meeting room, and flexible classroom designs, it's the Scott Chapel that gets most of the attention. Scott Chapel is one of my favorite places on campus. I mean, it's just an amazing space because it is very, uh, you could think of it as very anonymous from the exterior. There's no windows from the outside. It's a brick cylinder. There is some patterning to the brick, but it's not, you know, you have to go up and, and kind of pay attention to it. But you walk into that very small space and you do feel like there's this profound shift, like you've ever entered into another kind of realm. And one of the interesting things about you know, these projects is that both the Harvey Ingham and Fitch, the dorm complex and the dining hall, and Medbury and the chapel all got separate coverage in you know, the national architectural press of the day. So they were seen as being you know, important <laughs> by professionals. Saarinen also um, called on his friend Harry Weiss, who is a very, very excellent Chicago architect to build some of the buildings on the Drake campus. Um, so you have Weiss, you have Saarinen, Ariel Saarinen, you have Aero Saarinen uh, building wonderful buildings. At the same time, uh, Meredith Hall was built by Mies van der Rohe. Mies van der Rohe was, of course, the giant of modern architecture at the time. There's also a wonderful mural in the building, um, in the Student Union, I believe. Uh, a mural by Stuart Davis, and Stuart Davis was a very prominent American artist who did large-scale art uh, and did a very, very large mural for the, uh, the Student Union. Um, it was quite wonderful. So Drake, I think, has a tremendous amount to offer in terms of architecture and art. In the decades to come, we'll start seeing an expanded palette of building materials, including more steel, glass, and textured cement. And the list of honored architectural firms continues to grow, with Iowa talent working alongside internationally known firms. In the 1960s, designers were working hard to 